everyone, and welcome back to Play-Doh Videos. Today, we are going to make an adorable, cute, and super fun looking lion. King of the jungle. It's going to be a lot easier than you think. All we're going to need is some yellow Play-Doh, some white Play-Doh, some pink Play-Doh, and some orange Play-Doh. Those colors, a Play-Doh knife, and some googly eyes, and we are ready to get started. Here we go. Okay, first let's take some good amount of yellow Play-Doh. This is gonna be the basis, the body of our line. So you want a good amount and roll it on a flat surface, back and forth. A little thicker on one side, a little thinner on the other. And go ahead and use the Play-Doh knife. And about one third of the way through, you can cut off a piece, then roll again. And using the Play-Doh knife, go ahead and cut off another piece. Okay, and take a second piece and roll it into a ball. Nice and circular and round. And you can put that aside. The last piece, we want to make it much thinner. And then where it becomes thick, go ahead and cut that off using the Play-Doh knife. And create a long tube. And then using the Play-Doh knife, cut it into four equal pieces. Just like so. Now let's take the orange piece of Play-Doh and roll it so that you have a thin part on one end and a thick part on the other, like we did before. And go ahead and use the Play-Doh knife to make a cut and then the long orange tube. Just keep rolling it on a flat surface back and forth, making it nice and even. And then once it's nice and even and smooth, go ahead and start to push down. Just pat it down so it's nice and flat. You see, even though, nice and even, no lumpy parts, nothing abnormal or lopsided. Okay, great. Now let's use the Play-Doh knife and create almost like a comb, a bunch of cuts or indentations into the orange Play-Doh. Make them equidistant so that they're about the same space from each other. You see, just like so. A good shape. Terrific. Okay, great. And now you can put the orange Play-Doh to the side. Let's take that first piece of yellow Play-Doh and with one of the small four yellow pieces, you can start rolling it. and then attach it at the bottom. I bet you can guess this is gonna be one of the lion's legs. Great, and you wanna repeat that on the other side. And with the two front arms, you'll push them and press them against the body where the shoulders would be. Okay, great. Now you can put the body and the four legs attached to the side. And now let's take the round yellow Play-Doh, which is of course the head of the lion, and take the orange Play-Doh. And here we're gonna wrap the orange Play-Doh around the yellow. This is, of course, the lion's head. 
But isn't it remarkable how much it looks like the sun? Okay, now let's take two small pieces of yellow Play-Doh and press them with your thumb and forefinger, especially with the thumb to make an indentation in the center. And these are going to be the ears of our lion. So you see how I'm just making this ear-like shape? and repeating it with the other one and putting them both on the top of the head like so. Fantastic. Okay, little by little, now let's take some white Play-Doh and create two small circles. And a little thick, but not too much. And place them right in the center. It looks like these might become the eyes of the lion, but no, you'll see, just a second here. Let's take some pink Play-Doh and put a tiny bit right on top in between those two white pieces. And a little yellow in between on the bottom of the pieces. And there you see it's this whole nose and front mouth. And to finish it off, let's put some googly eyes above those. And he really looks good. Okay, almost done. Let's take a matchstick or toothpick and go ahead and put it down the center of the body. And no one's going to see that. And put the head right down on top of the stick. The stick disappears inside the body and the head, but it holds it in place. Now we're almost done. What I like to do here is take a little bit of yellow Play-Doh, tiny bit, just make a little piece of spaghetti out of it, yeah? And a tiny bit of orange Play-Doh at the very end, yeah, just like that. Attach it and make it nice and smooth and put it at the back of the line for his tail. And this will also help him stand and sit upright. That's terrific. You can take his mane, that orange, wonderful glow around him, make it puff out, and you've created a fantastic, cute, adorable, and really terrific looking lion. Well done. Nice. What a nice lion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to more Play-Doh videos. We're gonna make an adorable looking snail. Let's learn about shapes.